Hi, my name is Nico Dekens, also known as the Dutch Ocean Guy, and I'm going to show you, by using a Chrome extension called Invid, how you can verify video footage. Let's get right into it. Before we get started, we need to install the Invid Chrome extension plugin. We can do this by typing in the URL bar chrome.google.com slash webstore. This will bring, bring us towards the web store where Google Chrome hosts its extensions. And within the search bar, we will type in Invit because that's the Chrome extension we are looking for. And here you'll find it and you click the blue button, add to Chrome. And then a pop-up comes up and you can click add extension. And you'll see in the top right, a new icon pop up and that's the Invit extension installed. Now let's get into using the actual plugin itself. In June last year, um, a Twitter user posted this video and as you can read, he says um, that the video footage has been filmed on the Grand Road SE26 looking towards since Albert Church. And we want to verify if that's factually true. Um, let us first, before we start using the Invit extension, briefly look at the footage. And they're driving towards me. They're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting now. Okay. Stab him, he's got a knife, he's got a knife, he's got a knife, he's got a knife. He's dropped the knife on the floor, he's dropped the knife on the floor. He's going back and picked the knife up. Lock your door, lock your door. They're up a one way street. The other car is MF52 WHP. Is the red As you can see, there's a lot of things going on in this video. There's people stabbing each other, but we need to make sure where this incident took place. So we have seen some building, we've seen a street, but it all went very quickly. Now let's use the Invit extension, which we installed to get a better understanding about the surroundings and the, and the location where this video was taken. To use the Invit plugin, we need to open it up. But before we do that, we will copy the URL of this actual tweet where the video is hosted on. Then we will open a new tab and then we will click on the top right on the Invit plugin and say open Invit. A new menu pops up. And what we would first like to do is to click on the analysis button. And once we do that, we can paste in the URL which we copied and we will click submit. This will start loading up the metadata which is connected to the original tweet from the poster. And it tells us hopefully a little bit more details about the video also, or at least the person who submitted the tweet. So what we can see is the text which we already read uh, we can see how many likes and uh, retweets uh, the actual tweet got. It was tweeted from an iPhone. Uh, it gave us a thumbnail of the video, the duration of the video, but also a clickable link to download the actual video. Um, that's something you can do for later preservation or maybe evidence. Um, but we also know, get some details from the user who posted it. So this is the username, the screen name and the location, London. So the United Kingdom, which correlates to the accent we heard in the license plate. So maybe um, this is another hint that maybe the street that is named the Grange Road, uh, looking towards Saint Albert Church is somewhere in London or near London. Um, now the next step would be to keep all this information in mind, write it down in your report and go to the next part of the analysis of the video. And that's collecting the keyframe footage from the video. Again, we have copied the URL, we will paste it in and we will submit it and it will start grabbing um, screenshots from the actual footage. Um, once you've got that, you can click on the show details view button and you will see all screenshots, all keyframes from the actual footage for you to do some later analysis on. Um, for now, I would like to focus on this particular building because I've seen while watching the footage, some letters on the top of this building, but this is too small to look at. So when I right click on it, you get a contextual menu 
and we will click on the image magnifier. This is an option within the, the Invit uh, verification tool. So let's click on it a new menu pops up and now I can mouse over and by using my scroll wheel, I can zoom in the parts over the picture. And clearly there are some letters in and by looking into it, it looks like Truman, Hanbury, Buxton and some other letters, which I cannot clearly see right now. With this information in mind, now we can start verifying the location within Google Maps. For our next step, we want to verify the exact location with the knowledge we have. So next up, we will open up a new tab and we will open up maps.google.com. And from the knowledge we have already obtained from the original poster from Twitter, we had a general idea that it could be somewhere near London. So I'm zooming on a little bit into London and we knew that he said that it was probably the St. Albans Church um, at the Grange Road. So now let's search this and a few things pop up. Now let me look at this one because this one looks to be um, the most into the center of London. So let me click on it and let me zoom into it briefly, even more. And now I have a location and now I want to make sure that this is the exact location we're looking for. So I'm grabbing the yellow man on the down right corner and it will give me an ability to look at the street view level of that location near that church. Hmm, this clearly doesn't look like the location, but maybe if I pivot around a little bit more, I get a better understanding or a different angle. Hey, this looks like the yellow building we have seen in the footage. Let's scroll. Hey, I'm seeing here the Truman Hanbury Buxton. This I'm almost certain this must be the location. Yes. Let me look at this from this angle. And now let's briefly compare this. We have a post here. We have a sign here. We have the lettering here. We have the yellow building. We have these structures and we have a white building in the back. Now let's go back to the verify toolkit. Here we have the Buxton Truman, the sign with the speed limit on it, which we can compare. It's the sign with the speed limit. Yes, that's correct. Now let's see if we can verify the left part of the footage. So here we will see a part of the church. Here we will see the yellow building. So we are pretty confident that this is the exact location where this incident took place. So this is how you can use the Invit verification plugin alongside with Google Maps to verify a location from video footage. Thank you.